What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and welcome back to Minecraft. I am still in the stronghold right at the moment, but as you can see, I'm at the uh, little ender portal thing here. All I have to do is complete it, and I'll be able to teleport to the end. But right now, I'm not going to do that, because I am not prepared. So what I'm going to do is head back home. And, uh, you know, work on doing some enchantments, level up some stuff, do some more farming, and then eventually I'll come back here and finish this off. So something that's kind of cool is I thought, what's the easiest way to get out instead of having to try to find my way back to the original thing? Is I'll just dig straight through the ceiling and then just, you know, build a ladder straight up so I can come back down. Well, what's funny is I started digging up and I'll show you what I ran into. About five blocks up, I ran into this little area. This is the place where I very first came down into. See, here's the original hole I was just, you know, messing around with when I first came down. Yeah, apparently I was only a good five or six blocks away from where I dropped in from the very end of the realm. So anyway, um, I'm going to head back home, and while I do so, I have a small surprise for you guys. And, uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, can you say hi to everybody? Hi. What are you watching in the living room? Um, I'm watching Manny. Manny, which one are you watching? Um, the camping one. You're watching the camping one? Mm-hmm. Are you getting to eat a snack, too? Mm-hmm. What are you eating? Um, I'm eating pretzels. Pretzels. Can I have a pretzel, too, when we get back in there? Yeah. You being a good boy, so you get lots of toys for Christmas? Mm-hmm. What do you want for Santa to bring you? Um, uh... Microphone. You want to bring you a microphone? I like him jump. You like to make him jump? You want me to make him jump? Yeah, push this big button right here and he'll jump. See? <coughs> boing, boing, boing. You like that? Uh oh. Make him swing his sword. You see that? <laughs> At this rate, it's going to take us a little while to get back home. What else do you want Santa to bring you, bud? Mm, my. Um, skating. You want him to bring you some skates? Well, if you're being a good boy, then we'll tell Sandy you're being a good boy. He can bring you a lot of toys, okay? Do you have fun with Mommy in the bath? Do you have fun with Mommy in the bath? You did? What did you play with? You play with toys. Play with your toys? What all toys did you play with? Mm. We play with all my friends. All your friends? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did, huh? All the monkey's friends. All the monkey's friends? Who are the monkey's friends? Dinosaurs. A monkey's a friend with a dinosaur? Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. You're silly. I mean... Yes, you are. All right, buddy. We gotta get ready to go brush your teeth and get ready to go night night. Can you tell everybody bye? Bye. So anyway, just did a quick fast travel the last little bit to get home because I am ready to be safe. Um, I did reapply my little texture pack here and kind of fixed it off so my glass is a little bit easier to see through and change the corners back to white. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video with my son. Um, asked him if he wanted to record with me and he was just kind of, you know, super excited about that entire concept and... You know, so we went with it, and hope you guys enjoyed it. He, it was funny is near the end of the recording, he was he kind of lost focus as to what he was doing, and uh, he started answering some of my questions basically just by nodding, which, you know, was kind of it was just kind of funny, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know quite a few of you have asked me if he's ever going to do another com with me, and I thought I'd do kind of a, a live com this time instead of just doing the generic. Um, those the same? Yes. The generic recorded ahead of time sort of calm because it, it's it's a little bit more fun that way. But I had a good time with it and he, he was a lot of fun. He was a good sport. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and he's you know, he's a cute little kid for sure. So anyway, right now I'm just kind of dropping off some of my stuff that I got. I really didn't find that much. You know, before I started recording, I spent a lot of time just wandering around. You know, I explored everything. I found a couple bookshelves, or not bookshelves, sorry. I found some um, uh, libraries. I found just a whole bunch of random stuff. But I never did find anything It was just like, oh, this is really good. I have to have this. And I never found any dime. And I even explored further into the actual cave system. And I just never could find anything good. And... 
I didn't want to do an entire video of me wandering around not ever doing anything so I decided screw it I'm heading back home I'm gonna work on my farm a little bit and um, I'll go ahead and warn you guys ahead of time I have not spent an incredible large amount of time um, following you know reading up on different farming techniques I'm gonna come down here and oh yeah there was something I was gonna do first I'll close that off just in case I was gonna uh, use some of this glowstone to make some glowstone um, this glow dust to make some glowstone actually and uh, you know light up my area with that I think that might be kinda cool somebody mentioned that it might look kinda cool so we'll see how it actually works out I guess I didn't have to do it this way but ta da okay let's get a whole bunch of this cause I'm not gonna really need it for anything else might as well just take it all right okay 32 pieces that's that's quite a bit that should be enough to light it up a um, couple things real quick I'm gonna mention just in case um, if you're not already following me on Twitter and Facebook um, your links are always in the video description I always appreciate having new followers come follow me there I post information about you know when I put up new videos um, link other videos that I find interesting and worth watching and it's a good place to have a conversation so if you're not already watching me there then you know you should <laughs> so anyway um, something else is I'm hoping that now that the uh, holiday break is over with and stuff that um, I kind of see some things get back to normal and what I mean by that is I don't know what it was but d during the holiday break and stuff that was a uh, the amount of views and stuff I was getting on my videos really dropped and you know no one I'm, I'm not the kind of person that says oh I think I should have 6,000 views on every video that's not it at all please don't take it that way um, but what I am getting at is that, you know, on average, my Minecraft videos usually get somewhere between 3, 000, three and 4,000 views, you know, within just a couple days. Usually hits the three, the 1,000 marker, like, within just a couple hours of me putting it up. So, during the holiday break, the episode 34 I put up, it took it, like, all week long just to really start building up any stats. And, you know, in all honesty and stuff, it was kind of discouraging. It just really was. It was... You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've gotten so used to having my videos do so much better than what they were that it was. Just, I don't know. It was just a little bit disheartening. And then I put up my, uh, my other Modern Warfare 3 Team Deathmatch video, and it really didn't. It still hasn't got that many views on it. And, you know, once again, like I said, I don't mean to sound shallow or anything like that, saying that I think my videos deserve way more video views than they're actually getting. That's not it. Please don't. Please don't think I'm saying that. That's not it at all. But, I mean, you get you get what I'm saying, right? It was just very disheartening that, you know, to average a few thousand views per video and then all of a sudden not actually have those. It was just kind of weird. And then I put up my Skyrim video, and I knew there was quite a few people saying that, you know, it would be kind of cool to see me do that. And, you know, so far the views really haven't been that high on that too. So I'm hoping, really hoping that the main reason why they haven't been that high on view count wise is basically just because everybody's been on holiday break that's uh it, you know if i'm wrong and after this video goes up i see a you know a decrease and overall the videos just aren't getting as many views it, it's gonna be very discouraging and you know hopefully that won't actually be the case um i just made an infinite lava sp or water spring here just so i can fill this in now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make this just a quick little farming area for um, wheat so I can continue to make some more paper so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in water I'll show you here fill it in here so it kind of fills up nice I got this nice little thick layer of water here and uh, oh crap I'll put my put my dirt up all right I'm gonna head upstairs real quick so anyway um, going back to what I was saying there you know if you didn't check out my uh, Skyrim video and you're interested in it you know, hopefully you'll go check it out. I mean, I'd like to think that, uh, you know, you'll check out all my videos. You know, maybe I'm semi-naive in that fact or whatever. But, you know, it, it'd definitely be nice to uh, to know that if I put out a video, regardless of what, um, regardless of what type of video it is, that, you know, the people that like my content will go check it out and watch it all. And I'm going to have to make a hoe here. Uh, let's see, I got stone. I'm just going to make a standard stone here. Got me a hoe. Don't need an axe right now. Okay. Put this back here. Sticks, you go up there. Put the cobblestone back up here. I don't need that much with me right now. 
So anyway, you know, I'm getting distracted and from what I'm trying to say, but you know, hopefully you guys will go check out those videos and and I know I don't have the the best gameplay when it comes to Call of Duty. I know that. I don't have any kind of illusion whatsoever that, you know, my videos are just bomb diggity and I post up B scores. I post you know, I post up the kind of scores that the average person could get. That's what my whoops, my channel's kind of been about since I started doing Call of Duty videos, which is where pretty much the whole concept of the everyday gamer came from. It was after I started posting Black Ops videos and people were saying, oh yeah, your videos are, um, you know, your videos are something I can relate to. I'm doing this just now so I can remember where I actually put stuff, you know. Um, let's see, what do I want to do with this? See, I think I'm going to do, I think I'll just start like this. Scoot over a little bit. No, I can't reach those. It's okay. I'll do these here. And then I'll do... I'll do all of them. Screw it. I'll figure out how to get to that stuff later on. Okay. Now, hopefully, since I have the water underneath, it'll go ahead and keep all the soil nice and uh, irrigated, basically, so I can plant stuff in it. Now this is one thing I was doing when I uh, did farming in the other world basically. I put all the water underneath. And that way I don't have to try and build stuff around it. Now I can just carve out a little walk all the way around it. Got enough glowstone here. Hopefully it'll keep it nice and lit up. Hopefully anyway. Um, just so I can put that right there. That way I can fill this back in. There, that way we have having this nice little walkway. Now we'll see if it actually works out. Now if this doesn't work, then you know, I'm not going to get my feelings hurt. I don't care. It's just... I'm just doing some testing here, so I'm going to grow some wheat there, and I'm going to do it again over here too. We'll do just a smaller track this time, just where the dirt's actually filled in here. See how that works out. Alright, something else I was going to run by to you, and it was something my wife actually suggested, it might be kind of cool, is um, she, you know, I was talking to her about seeing if she'd want to jump in on my, uh, one of these calm videos and stuff too, like, you know, Brett just did, because it was, it was kind of fun. And uh, so I was asking her, I was like, you know, would you be interested in doing that? And and she was like, I don't know. I, um, she was like, how about this idea? How about instead of just, you know, jumping in and you asking me a bunch of silly questions, like you do with Brett, she said, how about, you know, we do kind of a, ask all your friends and stuff to list a, a, some questions, and I'll do kind of an interview to you. You know, kind of a, a Q&A sort of thing. Which I thought was kind of a cool idea, you know, have my wife do the uh, Q&A, which, you know, it might work out that way, but something I told her, I was like, well, I've done quite a few Q&A videos before as far as, like, having people ask me questions, and so I told her, I was like, what might be a little bit more fun is how about I have you guys send me questions you want me to ask her, and I'll do an interview to her live on camera, and, uh, We'll, uh, we'll do it that way. What do you think of that idea? You guys send me a bunch of questions. We'll do a dual calm while playing. You know, I might do it while playing this. Who knows? Or playing a Call of Duty video or something. I don't I don't know quite yet on the specifics on how I'll do it. But um, leave it like that. And I'll have an interview with her. And it'll be kind of a, a dual calm between the two of us. You think that would be kind of cool? I mean, is that something you guys would want to watch at all? <laughs> you know, interested in seeing you guys' comments. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, something else I was going to mention here, and it's because I start getting a lot of message about this. Um, some pe a lot of people have been sending me friend requests on Xbox lately and, you know, sending me questions like, why haven't you accepted my friend invite? Well, one, um, I get a ton of random friend requests on Xbox, and I don't accept friend uh, friend invites from people I don't know. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to accept any like that at all. That's not what I'm getting at. But, uh, wait, wheat, no, sugar cane, wait, we'll do wheat, grow some bread. Anyway, okay, so if you want to be a friend of mine on Xbox, send me an actual message and say, hey, by the way, my name is so-and-so, and, -so, and my gamer tags blah, 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 I'm going to send you a message. Because I get spammed a lot of friend invites, like right after a game's over, from people that were in the lobby with me, and, you know, I'm, I won't accept all of those. Um... I'm doing something wrong here. I forgot how to plant. 
Oh well, I'm gonna have to work on this. This is what we call farming failure. What you get for not doing much research before you start doing stuff here, huh? I don't know, I thought there you could do with water directly underneath. Maybe there's not enough light? I can't remember. Can't remember. Oh well, I'm gonna continue on with this. Anyway, let me, uh, I'm gonna pause for a second and stop trying to overthink it here. So, the reason why I don't accept just a ton of random friend requests is there is because, one, uh, and I'm not going to label that here, if I'm actually playing a game, you know, if I'm already in a room with friends and stuff like that, it drives me crazy to start getting spammed with just a ton of game invites to either a game I'm not playing or to a lobby with a whole bunch of people I don't know. Um, if I'm already in a lobby with friends, I'm not going to back out to play with people I don't know. Um, and, that, and I'm not saying by any way or anything at all that I am never ever going to play with randoms. That's that's not what I'm saying at all. So you know, don't take it that way. But if I'm, you know, my friends that I play with on a normal basis, they take absolute priority over who I play with. So. Um, you know, I stopped accepting friend invites because I had quite a few people on my friends list for a good long while, basically, that um, I'd play with on a rare occasion here and there, and then all of a sudden it was just, it was just massive spamming of game. Every single time I get online, I could be playing a game by myself, and all of a sudden I started getting just all kinds of um, spam invites. You know, I'd just be like. You get messages, hey, want to join my party? Hey, let me do this. Hey, let me do that. And what I ended up having to do is like join my join and then sign offline and set every party I was in to private to where it was invite only because I'd have people I don't know and that my friends don't know jumping into our parties with us and trying to crash in the lobbies. And, you know, we'd have a full room and have people jumping in and it'd take us over the limit of where we were going to be. And so we couldn't play six versus six anymore. It ended up trying to put us in ground war and and it just became annoying you know the guys I play with I've known for many 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 years they are pretty much like family to me a um, few of them I've known for 20 plus years and you know one of the guys I play with is my brother so um, you know they they're not into the whole YouTube thing they don't care at all about having subs play and they got the privacy settings set so they can't hear anybody so having a bunch of people jump into the room they don't know it was just really starting to annoy people and including myself and like I said, just getting massively spammed with invites. You know, if I'm going to play with randoms, I'll post it on Twitter and say, by the way, tonight, if you want to play, send me a message, blah, blah, blah. But I stopped accepting friend invites because I got tired of getting spammed for game requests every single time I got on. Um, it's it's bad enough to get spammed on the game I'm actually playing, but I get spammed to play games I don't even own. And that was just really, I don't know, it was becoming really tiresome, so I stopped accepting them. So as I said, if you want to be on my friends list, whatever, just send me a message and just kind of, you know, respect the fact that I don't get to play that often. And, um, you know, I do have friends and stuff I play with too, so I'm not always just playing solo. And I don't mean any disrespect or rudeness to anybody. So anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do is in the video here, I think I talked about everything that I wanted to. <clears throat> my voice is sounding a little better, or at least I think it is. <laughs> um... Got some grass growing down here. Eventually it'll turn into some weed. I can harvest that, which I think is what I was going to plant over here anyway. As far as getting sugar cane to grow, I think I didn't have... I think you got to have water surrounding it all of it or something. I don't remember. But I'm going to try and grow some pumpkin seeds down here. Maybe grow some melons. I'm just going to turn this into a nice little farm. You know, right now it's basic. I'm just kind of testing it out. I don't know that much about farming. You know, the farm I had on the roof completely failed. <laughs> You know, since I got a blizzard, which is snowing outside right now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, you know, I hope that um, the views and the interaction pick up uh, now that the holiday or Thanksgiving is over and b up until Christmas or whatever. Because, I don't know, it's disheartening not seeing as many comments on the videos. And, and I'm not talking about likes and favorites and stuff. Those stats I don't really care about. I mean, seeing a bunch of those is great. I hate seeing a bunch of dislikes, which I don't get very many anyway, but... I mean, I really like I really like interacting with you guys, and so if I put out a video and it doesn't get very many views and doesn't have that many comments and just the interaction level is really low and you know it just doesn't really seem like there's much participation going on, it participation it just it's discouraging to make me want to put out another one real fast, you know. So hopefully this video will do better, and hopefully this storm is pretty awesome. Um, 
you know, hopefully things will kind of pick back up again. I do hope you guys will support me with, you know, every kind of video I'll put out, even if it's not your bread and butter. But, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys' comments and all the love you guys have shown. I, I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff and talking to you guys. That's my favorite thing to do on this whole concept of playing is just talking with you guys. Reading the comments, responding. It, it's a good time. I appreciate it. And, uh, as always, you know, leave your comments below about what you think about the video, tips on farming. Um, if you know of anybody that does a really good job of farming and you know a good video, you know, send it to me as a shared video or something. Always learning, always looking to learn. I'm not a master at this game. It's just something I have fun doing. So, once again, thank you guys so much for all your time and all your love. I hope you guys have a good evening, and I will talk to you later.